Now, uh, something very interesting happened this last 10 days. Uh, Rich sent me a copy of his book. It's the first only book you've ever... Only book, probably my last book. <laughs> Don't tell my publisher. <laughs> and uh, all the proceeds of this book go to World Vision. He's taking no money from this project that it took him six months to do. And Rich, uh, Rich has come here at his own expense. He did not want anything other than to come and thank Willow for what we've done with World Vision in the past and to challenge us as he's just done. But uh, a couple of us got together and we said, you know, Willow, you've done such a great job on the five-day food and water challenge. I mean, you identified with the poor. Thousands of you did. And uh, 17,500, some of you rolled up your sleeves and you're doing the food packing. And we just say, way to go on that. Some of us got together and said, how could we expand your mind now? We've shrunk your stomach and uh, you've flexed your muscles, but what do we do to make an investment in your mind? We got together, and this is a $22 book, and we said, all right, what if we beat up the publisher a little bit, and then what if we you know, do some behind-the-scenes stuff, and what if we made this available to every single family at Willow for $5? And uh, we're like, ooh, well, that'd be cool. And, uh, but we can't afford to do that. And two donors in our church, two families, wealthy families, that I contacted and gave them the book to read, they said, we want every single person at Willow to read this book, and we don't want money to be the issue. So when I dismiss you in a moment, uh, there's tables out there filled with these books. If you can lay $5 down, if you can do that, Lay the $5 down and take a copy. If you can't, don't even worry about it at all. I mean, just grab one. It's our investment in you. Because if you will read this, you will... You will really hear a, a story of total surrender. And you'll learn more about engaging with the poor than you've read, than, than you've gained from, I bet, any other book. This is one of the finest books I have ever read. I, it's my goal to have every single person that will read it. I'm going to ask Rich one more question, and then we're going to close in prayer. But this is a big question. So, Rich, it's 10 years. You're much poorer now. I'm much richer now. <laughs> I was just going to say, so you walked away from what most of the world dreams of. You have a, I've been in your office. You have a tiny little office. You, uh... Don't drive a Jaguar. You, you, know, you have a, a very reduced lifestyle. You've traveled tirelessly. Uh, has it been worth it? It, is, it has been unbelievable, God's blessing in my life. And um, when this decision was facing us, my wife said, we want to be where God wants us to be. It's the only safe place to be. And what I found at World Vision is something that you told me, that when you find God's calling and you enter into it and you enter into it with obedience, um, you are in the zone with God. And, and I would not trade. I've had experiences a billionaire couldn't buy. I've traveled the world. I've seen the poor, the downtrodden. I've seen the gospel flaming with brilliance in some of the darkest places in the world. Uh, I just count it a privilege to be able to do what I do in the name of Christ, and it's been the greatest blessing in my life. And by the way, uh, six months ago, Lennox declared bankruptcy. <laughs> they had five CEOs after me who were all fired, and they declared bankruptcy. So that's what I was trying to hold on to. Uh, well, bad for them, I guess. But Hey, could I ask you to stand now, please? And... Uh... When you go in the lobby in just a few seconds, you know, get your book and then go to the water solutions, uh, uh, little expos out there, walk around. Uh, some of you need to go to the prayer room and so, but uh, any of you folks who want to run for World Vision, run the marathon. There's a little meeting here afterwards. But here's the, the real challenge I want to put for you as I close. When's the last time that you formally declared to God that I will do your bidding, God? 
no matter what, no matter what it costs me, no matter where it leads me, I will do your bidding, God, no matter what. When's the last time you did that? In my view, it's a no-lose proposition. Because, yeah, I got supported. <laughs> Did you feel it? Yeah. So, I dare you to play loose now. Uh, I've always felt it's a no-lose proposition to say to God on a quite continual basis, God, I will do your bidding no matter what. Because when you do that total surrender thing, sometimes what God will do is he'll whisper to you in the next hours or the next days, you are doing my bidding. I want you to be an architect. I want you to be a bricklayer. I want you to be a school teacher, and I want you to have influence where you are. And I'm going to grow you up and use you right where you are so you get your current marching orders underscored, which is always cool. But then sometimes when you go, God, I will do your bidding, whatever it is, he'll give you a spirit of restlessness, and he'll go, I do have another bidding for you. Thanks for asking. I have another bidding for you. And it might not be up and to the right. It might be a dangerous, costly bidding. But I'll bless your life. And you'll be glad and thank me someday that you went down this other path because I whispered to you. So I'm going to say on your behalf a prayer of total surrender. You can join in with this or you can blow it off. And you make that choice. But let's see what God does. Would you join me in prayer? Now, God, we love you and we trust you. We wouldn't be in church today if we didn't think you were wise, if we didn't think you were good. And we know that the plans you have for our lives are wise and good. They're filled with a purpose and meaning. So we surrender ourselves to you today afresh. We commit to be willing to do your bidding. And if you tell us in the next few hours or days that we're already doing it, we'll do it with renewed energy. We'll do it for your glory. We'll do it in your power with joy. But if you give us a spirit of restlessness and you tell us that you have another calling, God, we pledge to you that we'll do it. Even if it's dangerous and downward, we'll do it because you're a good and wise God and we'll trust you in this. And now as we go our way, God, expand our minds. As we read Rich's book together, expand our minds for what it's going to take to be engaged long haul with the poor. Move in people's spirits to do their part in this great war. We pray this in Jesus' powerful name. And everyone agreed and said, amen. Good to be in church, huh? Blessings, everybody. See you.